Hello, Mr. Gale here, and I'm going to talk you through national insurance, and we're going to look at the boundaries for what will probably come up in the summer 2022 exams. Let's have a look. So a couple of things, national insurance. Um, this is a effectively a tax taken from your earnings as long as you earn enough money, and it's pretty much there for providing state benefits, like main ones being pension, for example, but other things too. Um, it changes each year, but this one a video is based on the the tax year from April 2021 to April well, March 2022, which is usually what happens and the boundaries that are used for the exam in the summer of 2022. So with that in mind, here's a table. Um, this is similar to what it will probably look like in the preliminary materials that you get for your core maths exam. Um, I've shown you a monthly one and a yearly one here. Sometimes they give you the weekly one, sometimes they give you all three, but it's usually this kind of format. Um, I think it's probably best to think of it as like it's two tables in one, and you're very, very likely to only use one of these sections. And to be honest, I tend to use the yearly one if I can, unless there's a good reason that like you're blatantly given the person's salary per month, in which case you may well use the monthly one. Um, but it's set out into three categories. There's the 0% category. So if you are a maximum yearly income of £9,568 or less, then you pay 0% national insurance. You don't pay anything. Uh, if you earn over 9568 up to 50270 a year, so that's a huge range, 50270 uh, is going to cover the vast majority of people, um, then you pay 12% of the amount between those two values. And if you do earn over 50,270, then you still pay 12% on this bit between these two, but anything over 50,270, you pay 2% of that. If you've seen um, the income tax, uh, my video on income tax, then you'll notice that this one goes uh, well, zero percent. Then you get twelve percent, and then it goes down. Whereas the income tax goes the other way around; it goes twenty percent, and then forty percent. So if you earn more, you get even more tax on the other bits. And national insurance is not like that. Another important point: again, if you've seen income tax, you get a personal allowance, um, and that does not apply to national insurance. You don't take that off first and then use that table. You just use your gross annual pay or monthly pay, and look it up directly in that in tables. Um, so the, the personal allowance does not apply to this, that's just for income tax. Uh, whilst I think about it, another question I get asked sometimes is, do you work out income tax first or do you work out national insurance first? And the answer is, it doesn't make any difference. You do them both from the start. So you work out your income tax, say, from your original gross amount, work out how much income tax you've got to pay, then you don't get to take that off before doing national insurance. So you then start again from scratch with your gross pay, work out your national insurance, get your two values, and then you take them both off of your gross pay uh, to give you your take home pay. All right, well, here is one example. We're using a bar model for this. So something like this, I'm gonna show you two different ways, two different examples, two different ways. Um, so this represents the naught to 9,568, where you don't have to pay any uh, national insurance. When you're paying, going from 9,568 up to 50,270, it's 12%, and then, after 50,270 uh, 50, is a 2%. And I've got this wiggle in because there's no real end to this. Um, so, for example, Georgia is earning £12,000 a year. How much national insurance will she pay? Well, £12,000 is about there, obviously over 9,568, but nowhere near the 50,270. So I want to split that 12,000 up, really. And it's easier to think of it as 9,568, which you won't pay any uh, national insurance on. And then the remaining bit, so that is just the 12,000 minus 9,568 gives you 2432. This part's going to need 12% paying on it. So 12% of that. And for the things that we're doing, you really want to use a multiplier. So 12% is 0.12. So just do 0.12 times or multiply by 2,432, and it will tell you how much it is. And that is 
£1,000, £84. So if you're only £12,000 a year, you pay just under £300 national insurance. Lucy is significantly better off and earns £58,200 a year. And how much national insurance will she pay? Well, 58,200 clearly goes above this upper bracket. So she will pay 2% of something, but the 12% rate, well, she's gonna pay 12% on the full amount of the distance between these two. So 50,270, I know it says 9,568 and one pence here, but realistically people just do the take off the 9,568. If you really do want to deal with that 0.1, you can, but there's no need. So the difference between 50,270 and 9,568 is 40,702. 12% of that is 4,884.24. So anybody over 50,270 is going to be paying this amount in the 12% bracket. And then because Lucy is doing very well for herself, she's also going to pay 2% on some of this, 2% on however much of her salary goes above 50,270. So 50, uh, 58,270 minus 50,270, uh, I said that wrong, but that number, take away that number is 7,930 and 2%, 0.02 times that, 158.60. So in total, this one plus this one, she's gonna pay 5,000 and 40 pounds, 84 pence. So if you're only 58,200 pounds, then your national insurance contributions are about 5,000. Uh, this one here is worth pointing out, 2% only on the stuff that above that. It's not that once you get past 50,270, you can just pay 2% on the lot, it doesn't work like that. Um, and also just another note, 2% is 0.02, not 0.2, because that would be 20%. Okay, so, you might like to have a look at these questions here. Um, how much does the mechanic pay in national insurance, earning £16,000 a year? Uh, how much does, uh, I don't know what this person does, but they're earning £4,375 a month. And this person is paying, uh, earning £99,000 a year. Uh, she must be really good at writing on walls, She's probably a trainer or something. Um, how much national insurance will these people pay per year and you might want to skip back in the video to maybe this slide, say uh, this bit, and have a look at that table. That's a useful table. So that table there, to help you work out how much these people get, I would strongly suggest you pause the video now because in five seconds time, I am going to put up the answers for this. Uh, thanks for watching. And I will put those answers up in five, four, three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two, sorry, that was just a joke. Here we go. All right, hopefully you got this right. Um, look forward to teaching you something else next time.